This discovery comes from the UK, where the residents consumed 3 billion meals back in 2012. A food journalist called Joanna Blytheman decided to dig a little deeper and discovered some pretty disturbing information on how these meals are actually made. We're pretty sure you're going to throw out all ready meals after hearing about this one. Ready meal industry is completely automated and comes from a long industry chain. Supermarkets subcontract work to the food manufacturers, who then work with various food processing plants, which are miles away from any actual farmers or growers. A pizza with a label country of origin Ireland had 35 ingredients and went through 60 countries during preparation and packaging. Meat, vegetables, and fish are often frozen, then cooked, and marketed as fresh, when in reality they were frozen for sometimes years. Packed sandwiches often contain powdered eggs that can be easily transformed into liquid, crystallized, quick frozen, and more. Butter in ready meals is often just yellow powder that's gone through a technique called spray drying, which removes water from a mixture of butter, milk proteins, and starch. Starch. The real manufacturers behind ready meals are often anonymous and work in secret areas to avoid controversies regarding the working conditions. It's no secret that ready meals aren't the healthiest option, but at least now you know the real story behind the meals that are so quick to make. Ice cream. If you're one of those people that frequently purchases strawberry, raspberry, or vanilla ice cream, you might want to chuck them out after watching this video. In 2013, Time posted an article saying, your vanilla ice cream may actually smell like beavers behind. Well, it turns out they weren't lying. Basic ice cream is made by combining a mixture of cream, milk, sugar, and sometimes eggs. These ingredients are frozen while being churned to create the delicious product. Commercial ice cream also contains various stabilizers that make the product last longer, but there's a specific natural flavoring that's often found in strawberry, raspberry, and vanilla ice cream that will make your stomach twist in knots. It's called castorium, and it comes from beavers behind. Castorium is a chemical compound used by beavers to mark their territory, and their scent actually reminds us of vanilla. You'll also find this ingredient in perfumes and other all-natural food recipes. We totally wish we were kidding, but we're not. Many factories actually add castorium to enhance the musky vanilla smell to their products. Seriously, that smell comes from a beaver's behind. So next time you enjoy a vanilla ice cream, you better thank a beaver for their unique diet and an even better digestive system. Are you grossed out yet? Don't worry, we have a lot more disgusting food facts ready for you. Beer. Beer is a popular drink that many can't resist after a hard working day. Face it, there's nothing quite like putting your feet up when the sun is out and opening up a can of beer. Well, you might want to think twice because we just found a disturbing fact about beer. Beer has been made for 7,000 years. The technique used to make it changed over time. The process of making modern beer is actually pretty simple. It starts by harvesting barley, which then gets heated, dried, and cracked. The grains get mashed and boiled and put in a fermenting vessel where manufacturers add yeast, which makes your beer fizz. This is where it gets a bit complicated. After they add yeast, many factories add an ingredient called isinglass, which is obtained from the dried fish bladder. Yes, that's right, beer contains the juices of fish bladder. It's used to make beer look even clearer after the barley settles. Many are complaining that the added element of fish is only there for aesthetics, and people are constantly challenging beer factories to finally remove this disgusting ingredient from its list. If you love Guinness, you're in luck, because in 2017, Guinness finally removed this nasty ingredient from its beer and made it totally gross free. However, we can't promise that your favorite beer is free from this disturbing ingredient, and it's probably safe to have that checked out, just in case. Skittles. Taste the rainbow is the famous slogan of these colorful, sugary treats that are completely addictive. Well, you're actually tasting more than just a rainbow if you taste a red Skittle. In fact, the same goes for rainbow Mentos and most other red-colored candy. This terrible ingredient was even found in Starbucks strawberry frappuccino, but Starbucks actually admitted it was so gross that they stopped adding it to the popular drink. Skittles are made by combining sugar, corn syrup, modified cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, coloring, dextrin, and many other ingredients. But there's one disgusting ingredient in this rainbow candy that people tend to ignore. It's called carmine, also known as the red food dye. Red food dye might look appealing, and it definitely makes red Skittles totally delicious. But once you discover what it's actually made of, it'll make you squirm. Are you ready? It's crushed bugs. Nope, we're not making this up. While many argue that this is a more natural option, you just can't deny that it's totally bizarre we'd crush bugs just to make our candy, yogurt, and jelly look even redder. And while companies like Starbucks publicly announced they stopped using crushed bugs to make their drinks look bright red, there are a lot of companies out there that still use this stomach-turning natural ingredient. If you're worried about crushed bugs in your favorite product, search for anything related to strawberry and raspberry flavor, and check for carmine, or natural red 4, on the label. Jelly beans. 
Another popular sweet that is definitely not the best for your health are jelly beans. To make the jelly beans, the manufacturers heat liquid sugar and then add starch and glucose. The mixture is then put in bean-shaped molds and cooled off for about a day. After the outer layer of the beans gets hardened, it gets glazed with shellac, which gives the candy the glossy feel. In other words, shellac is the same gloss you'd normally use to polish your car and other inedible things. You can also find it in items like lipstick, hairspray, and anything else that creates that beautiful glossy effect. Shellac is actually made with a process of producing a substance from a cell, gland, or an organ of an organism. In this case, shellac is derived from a bug that lives in the forests of India and Thailand. Yes, you heard that right. That beautiful coating that gives the jelly beans the irresistible shiny touch is actually made from a tiny insect with a life cycle of only about six months. During this life cycle, the insects will find a tree bark, eat, reproduce, and create the resin that will later be used by manufacturers. It's hard to believe all this has to happen just to make jelly beans, right? Canned mushrooms. People have been raising their eyebrows at canned food since forever, but there's something you should know about canned mushrooms that will make you never want to buy them again. While canned mushrooms might just be simply preserved mushrooms that last significantly longer, there is one element to them that will make your stomach turn. Maggots. No, we're not kidding. Maggots in canned food are nothing new, but did you know that the FDA actually doesn't mind this? As long as the number of maggots doesn't go above a certain percentage? The FDA has tolerance levels for a number of things, including just how many gross things there can be in canned mushrooms. And no, the answer is not zero. You can find 20 maggots per 100 grams of drained mushrooms, and the product will still pass the law. While the EU food law doesn't have allowable limits for foreign bodies in our food, this doesn't yet apply to the USA food law standards. A spokesman for Britain's Food Standards Authority stated that the expectation of food is that it is not contaminated, and we definitely agree. You better go and check your canned mushrooms. Have you ever found anything gross in your canned food? Or have you actually stumbled upon maggots in canned mushrooms? Make sure you let us know your stories in the comments below. Packaged beef. By now, most of you probably know where meat comes from. There's one element that's added to packaged beef that makes the whole thing just gross. The industry refers to it as lean, finely textured beef, and it definitely sounds like a fancy term, but in reality, it's actually pink slime. Yes, you heard that right. Lean, finely textured beef, also known as LFTB for short, is made from beef chunks and trimmings that are exposed to bursts of ammonia, which eliminates bacteria. This, of course, proposes a question whether or not ammonia itself is a health hazard. If pink slime is processed incorrectly, it may contain harmful pathogens. In 2012, the U.S. ABC television network made a few disturbing discoveries about the packaged beef industry, and as a result, went into a defamation lawsuit with Beef Products, Inc. The news was so big, it actually caused a huge controversy and made companies like McDonald's stop using pink slime in their burgers. Many companies, including supermarket chains, have vowed to stop using pink slime in their products. In early 2017, the lawsuit against Beef Products, Inc. was finally settled, but the pink slime sales have doubled since their initial decline after the controversy. There's a good chance you might have pink slime in your burger, and you don't even know it. Salad dressing. Ranch dressing was the most used salad dressing in 2016. Let's be honest, a salad wouldn't taste the same if we didn't add just a little bit of taste to it, and many of us can't leave without salad dressing. But there's one thing you should know about the condiment that appears to be totally harmless. It contains a nanoparticle called titanium dioxide, which is added after mixing all typical ingredients like honey, vinegar, eggs, and salt. Titanium dioxide is used to make your salad dressing look white, but it's also a preservative that helps expand the condiment's shelf life. It's also often used for pharmaceutical reasons, and it can even be found in sunscreen. Sure, it makes the salad dressing look appealing, but people aren't aware just how much of it is added to the product. Reports state that people ingest up to a trillion particles of titanium dioxide every single day. Studies have shown that the nanoparticle may transport inflammatory substances into the gut wall and cause digestion problems and other stomach issues. While the material has been previously declared as safe, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has noted that the overconsumption and mass production could become a cancerous hazard. You can easily make your own version of salad dressing by combining honey, vinegar, eggs, and salt, and avoid adding potential cancerous elements that could harm your long-term health. Pringles. The biggest shocking truth out of everything we will mention today belongs to Pringles. Pringles are totally addictive, and we could easily go through a whole box in just a few minutes. But there's actually a reason why Pringles are so irresistible. Did you know they're not actually made of potatoes? They're one of the most processed chip brands out there. 
Typical chips are made by cutting the potatoes and deep frying them, but the story is much more complicated when it comes to Pringles. The overwhelming process of making these chips begins with a mixture of wheat, rice, corn, and potato flakes. The mixed ingredients are pressed into a dough that's laid out like a sheet and cut into shape. They then get pressed into molds that give them that famous Pringles shape. But here comes the weird part. They are then moved through burning oil and a frying station. After they become crispy, they are blown dry and sprayed with powdered flavors. A machine then stacks them up and the factory distributes them to a store near you. The factory process of Pringles easily destroys any nutritional content that comes with chips or potatoes. To top it off, the process unintentionally creates a hazardous chemical called acrylamide, which has been noted to cause cancer and other health risks. Pringles come with a price, and it's not just the one you see in your supermarket.